start out by thanking our veterans today. On Veterans Day, it was big around my house for years, my dad being a veteran and of World War II, and, uh, and I'm growing up in a military family. That was, uh, this has always been a, uh, a big day uh, for my family, and all my, my, my father's brothers was also in, in wars. Most of them didn't come back, so uh, I want to thank our veterans and families for their sacrifice for what we do here today and the freedoms that we have. All right, uh, coming off an open date week, which we desperately needed, mentally and physically, it looks like we're going to be pretty much 100% uh, healthy. Uh, guys have got their legs back. We, we gave them a few days off to, to rest mentally and physically, and then we've, we've done a lot of practice time, work, and effort on a lot of different things uh, that we needed to work on. So it's given us a little bit of downtime to go back to fundamentals and try to make us better in a few areas and try to try to work back our depth that we kind of lost for a few weeks because of injuries. So excited about that. Uh, this game against East Carolina, I predict at the beginning of the year, this was probably the most talented team that was in our conference. Ruffin McNeil is a good friend of mine. Uh, he and I actually were up for the Texas Tech job. Uh, he was coaching there. Uh, I ended up getting the job. He left there and went back home and took the job at East Carolina at the same time he played at East Carolina. Good friend, been a good friend a long time, and look forward to seeing him, and he's done an excellent job there. They're athletic, a uh, lot of speed and quickness. It, it kind of reminds me of a Big 12 team. They run a Big 12 offense, uh, fast pace. They've got a gunslinger at quarterback who they recruited the first year there uh, from the, the city of Houston, who's probably the best quarterback in our conference. Uh, he's going to break all kind of records, uh, touchdowns, completions, all those things. and. Uh, you can just tell he being a senior and a guy that's been around his experience has really paid dividends for him this year. But they've got he's got a lot of weapons around him, running backs, tight ends, uh, wide receivers with speed and quickness. Their running game is as good as their passing game. And uh, that's, a, that's obviously a concern when you play a team that's well balanced like they are. They're well balanced, they're well coached, and they've got a scheme that they believe in and they run it. And you can tell their players have bought into it, and they've been quite successful uh, running it. Defensively, a lot of the same things. They, they have uh, a lot of speed on defense. Guys have big defensive linemen that uh, control the running game. Uh, they, they blitz some. They play a little bit of a man, man coverage at times, but they're multiple. But uh, you can tell they, they uh, uh, just like they're on offense. They, they're sold on what they do. They don't do a lot. They execute every week. No matter who they play, they, they're going to run the same things. Their players understand it, and they, they, uh, they play well and ex execute it well. They play some, played a very tough schedule, beating Virginia Tech, uh, uh, taking North Carolina to the woodshed, uh, scoring, I think, 71 points. Uh, you know, they can score points. Uh, they run a lot of plays. Again, I faced and, and coached on this, this type of offense for several years, and it's, uh, it's, it, it can carve you up pretty good. And again, they've got a guy that can do the carving at quarterback. So it'll be a huge challenge for our players. And fortunately for us, we've had a little extra time to practice and get people back healthy. Uh, offensively for us, uh, Gunner and Munchie have taken snaps. Most of the snaps were the ones. Uh, we won't make a decision uh, who's going to start and probably uh, the day of the game uh, because Munchie's really playing well, practice well. Gunner is, I wouldn't say 100% as close as he's been. Uh, running back situation is the same. Rod Moore and and, uh, and Mike are the two guys that will play running back for us. Slomer practiced uh, the last two days, who has been out for a couple of weeks. I think it's the SMU game, our left guard. Uh, he is back. So we've got a pretty much a full contingent on offense. Our receivers were getting a little bit tired. We run a lot of routes in practice and, and obviously in games. And, uh, you know, they were running out of steam a little bit, and so that was one group I wanted to get back healthy uh, mentally and physically with their legs and get them 100%. We're going to need it, need them for these next four games. Uh, defensively, uh, most everybody is back uh, that, that we're going to count on for the next four games that we we're missing. But it's, uh, it's been good to see uh, some guys back out there 100%. Jarrell Jordan practicing. He's been down with the uh, – a twisted knee for the last couple of weeks, and we're going to need defensive linemen as we go down the stretch. So, should be a good game. Thursday night, uh, going to be a little change in the temperature. 
And uh, I noticed the uh, weather forecast this morning, which is the first thing I look at for the next 14 days. It's going to be rather cold around the Cincinnati area and north. And so we play this week here on, on television. And the next two weeks, we go up north, play in Philadelphia and, and Hartford, Connecticut. So we're going to uh, we're going to be uh, under the gun with uh, a little bit change of temperature, and we'll see how our guys handle it. Uh, we haven't had it much here, so it's really not of advantage because we we we're practicing. Uh, in warm wet warm weather as east carolina and and some of the other teams have so uh see how our players handle the the change in uh, the temperature because it will be cold thursday night hopefully we get a great crowd from our students i know it's tough on thursday nights for parents and kids in school but uh looking forward to another national televised game and hopefully we can play better than than what we played because we played a lot better in the last three weeks but this will be a huge challenge for our football team to give us a measuring mark of where we where we've, we're at and where we are at going into the last month of the season. Uh, questions? What kind of things did you work on specifically on defense this last week? Yeah, we worked on our run defense. Obviously, we, we worked on, our, on, on little things like uh, gap control, hand placement, uh, playing, with, uh, playing with your eyes a lot better. We, we, didn't teen, we, we didn't get off blocks very well, you know, the first couple of – of uh, two or three weeks into the season. Now some of the teams that we played had something to do with that. We didn't tackle very well. We worked on tackling. We worked on uh, some of the basic things in coverage uh, that uh, I thought we'd gotten better at. You know, we'd play in, playing over top of receivers, playing the ball in the air on deep balls, which we played pretty well. We've had some interceptions that we did not have at the beginning of the season. We just didn't play well with our eyes on defense. And it's very important. You don't hear that talked about very much, but sometimes players get glued on players instead of playing with their eyes and, you know, being able to look at the the, the offensive player and tell when he's looking for the ball, you got to look for the ball. Little things like that that uh, a lot of these young guys have, have not ever had to go through, through experience-wise, that they've, they've gotten better at. So uh, it was a good – Four or five days of fundamentals, then we had to start putting in a game plan. And uh, and when you do that, it's pretty much just lining up to alignments and looking at different blocking schemes and, and routes and trying to figure out what you need to do and uh, to be successful against the team you're going to play. What's the condition of Keeler's ribs? Is it better than maybe a week ago? No, he's, uh, he's a lot better. I mean, he, I mean he's, he's, I would say, close to 100%. Uh, he's much better than he was the week of the the uh, Ohio State game is when he took the first shot. And uh, he took the first shot and was bruised up pretty good. And then he got one the next week on the other side. And that, that set both of them back. But, uh, you know, he played through pain. I was proud of him. He tried to play in the two-lane game. And, and uh, it, you know, we're, we're not rocket scientists. We tried to throw a deep ball with him in the first play. And uh, he gets it intercepted. And he just couldn't get it done. Uh, he, he and you know he tried to play and we wanted to see, you know, just how far he'd push himself because he wasn't he wasn't in danger of hurting himself anymore. It was just uh, probably the change of the weather. Those of you that weren't there, we go down there expecting 80 degrees and it was somewhere in the 40s and that didn't help his cause at all either. Uh, having a cold game down in New Orleans, so uh, he's ready to go. He's throwing the ball a lot more authority. He's getting a lot a lot better spin on the ball. Uh, he's been able to work on technique uh, and been able to practice there for about three or four weeks. He'd, he'd throw one day a week, basically. And uh, uh, the, the open date couldn't have come at a better time for him because if we'd have played the next week, he wouldn't have been able to play. We just had to pull him out. And, and, but uh, proud of Munchie, what he did, him coming and having a very good uh, game, uh, uh, you know, against uh, – I forget who it was, uh, South Florida. And uh, uh, he got built confidence. Now, Munchie's always going to have problems. You know, his knee is one of those that, you know, it's going to swell up on him and he'll have problems for the rest of his life. But uh, he pushed through it and he's as healthy now as he's been since two days. So going into the last month, uh, we're in pretty good shape, knock on wood, where we can, hopefully we can keep everybody healthy, you know, for the next four games. Well, everybody wants to be bowl eligible. Uh, everybody wants to get to six. And if you look at it, there's 119, 120 teams. And what is it, guys? How many bowl teams will they need this year? 78? 
yeah, I think it's 78 teams that have to be eligible to play in bowl games or they're not have enough teams. But, you know, the, our, our number one goal right now is to, you know, keep running towards the end of the season to stay in the race for the championship. Uh, this will be a big game for us. Uh, you know, our, our schedule is going to be pretty tough for the next month, two on the road. But uh, this is the team that, that I knew that everybody going into the season had to play well and have a chance to beat to, to win the conference. Last year it was Central Florida. This year it's East Carolina. So th this, this will be a big game in terms of, obviously, uh, bowl eligibility. I think they're already bowl eligible. But for us, uh, but you don't want to put as much pressure on your players as you, as you have to. So main thing we want to do this week, go play as best we can uh, at home. Uh, it's our second from last game at Paul Brown. It's been good, but it hadn't really been a true home field advantage because of the size of the stadium. But uh, I think our guys have really fought through that and made the best of it. You mentioned this is a measuring mark. Is it fair to say that this will give you an idea of how far you've come maybe since Memphis or one of those early games? Yeah. I, you know, I'd, it, I, of course, I'd, I had time to travel and think about the whole season as we, as I traveled last week recruiting. And... Uh, you know, it's been a tough year. It's been a tough year for the way we started the season in terms of everybody else is playing and we're still out there full practicing, trying to scrimmage and get guys ready to play the first game while everybody else played two before we started. And then we uh, got off to a pretty rocky start. Even though we won our first two games, we didn't play great, didn't build a lot of confidence. And then we go to Ohio State and and uh, we, we all know how good they are. Just watching them on TV, they're, they're one of the best teams in the country. But we, we played decent. We didn't play great. Uh, uh, you know, our, our defense kind of got, got uh, shredded a little bit. And then we played Memphis after that where our players, they, we just didn't, we, we didn't look like we were focused. And I think the, how enormous that game was with Ohio State, our guys not downplayed because Memphis came out and beat us, but we didn't have that spark that we needed for the first conference game. And then, of course, we had a player that didn't make it to, to practice one day because of a motorcycle accident, and and was uh, and we had to go to funerals. And then, of course, uh, then we go to Miami and we play another team that was actually better than us, and and uh, they whipped us pretty good, but we held in there. So uh, then we knocked off three straight. So uh, I'm still at the point where you know where are we? You know what? Where is this team at? You know how how good are are we? How good can we be? You know, going into the last month, there's a lot of possibilities, but we still got a lot of young guys making all kind of mistakes. So we're getting ready to play three teams that, or four teams that are that can give us a pretty good idea of of where our program is right now. And now most of the, the offensive guys again are healthy. Defensively, you know, continue to worry about you know just being able to hold up because we've we've done a few things on defense that's helped us, but uh, you know that we. Sooner or later, you know, you, you know, our guys have got to hold up on their own on base defenses and, and technique, which we went back to last week. And hopefully that will show up in all the work that we've done in the past two weeks and going into these last four games. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you all there.